So, he asked him, Want to race? Want to race? Sure. And the tortoise said, Sure. Well, all of the friends giggled because they thought that was funny. <laughs> but then they said, You know what? It's, we have nothing better to do today. It'll be fun afternoon. So they helped me by saying, On your mark! Yes, and go! And the hair was off. And he was so fast, he just ran, ran, ran right around that tortoise. So fast. He was so far ahead. That, and the tortoise was really slow now. Right? Really slow, right? And uh, he knew that he was going to win, so he got a little tired. So he said, I'm going to lay down and take a nap. And meanwhile, that tortoise never stopped oh, moving. Yeah. And eventually, the tortoise got to the finish line. And the crowd went wild. Yeah. Yes, there is. What, guys? Say it again. Slow and steady wins the race. trudges on, the hare falls asleep, and the tortoise trudges on. <laughs> he went jump, thump, jumpity, thumpity, jump, thump, happily, bumpity, jump, thump, jumpity, thump, got so tired that he had to stop. The hare falls asleep, and the tortoise trudges on. The hare falls asleep, and the tortoise trudges on. He went bounce, pounce, bouncity, bouncity, bounce, pounce, happily, flouncity, bounce, bounce, bouncity, bounce. Got so tired that he had to stop. And the hare falls asleep. And the tortoise trudges on. The hare falls asleep. And the tortoise trudges on. Sure, no problem. 
And off she went. Well, years passed, and there was this evil emperor, and we knew that he was evil because of his lap. Tell them. Good, that was so good. And he was also very bored. And you know what evil emperors do when they're bored? They throw people into the lion's den. So he started looking for someone to throw into the lion's den. Who would it be? No, 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 no. Who would it be? Who would it be? But then he saw Andrew's and he said, You in the lion's den. And she said, Me, why me? Me, why me? Because you're there. And Andrew said, Oh, this is not my day. And her friend said, poor Androcles, poor Androcles. And with that, the emperor took her arm and gently threw her into the lion's den. And as she was going down, she screamed, ah, I'm going to die. Uh, I'm going to die. And her friend said, you're going to die. You're going to die. And the lion began to pounce. She pounced, began to pounce, but she looked in Androcles' eyes and she said, hey, I know you. Remember years ago? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So how are you doing? So how are you doing? Fine, how are you? And they just started having this nice little conversation. Meanwhile, <laughs> the emperor's getting really mad. Show us mad. Mad. <laughs> yeah. And he said, what's going on down there? What's going on down there? You're supposed to be eating her. You're supposed to be eating her. And the lion said, I can't eat her. She's my friend. And the moral of that story is treat others the way you want to be treated. treated. Say it with me. Treat, treat others the way, way you want to be treated. Good job. Oh. 